Hey boys and ghouls, Moon Girl here. Ooh, look what wanted to come out. Seven of Swords in reverse, no less. I'm just shuffling. How are you guys doing? So would appreciate you guys liking my Facebook like page, sharing it, leaving me a cheeky comment. Um, you can also support me on my YouTube, same name Moon Girl Tarot and More, and on my Instagram, same name Moon Girl Tarot and More. So, I have a few readings for you guys. I usually, on Wednesdays, go do lives somewhere else and I come here. But I decided to do ours first and then I'll head over there. So you guys can get two readings if you're interested. So anyways, how are y'all doing? Hi Ronnie, hi Tiff. Hey Miss Tate. Yancy Inohosa. I like saying your name. <laughs> so. I did do a tea leaf reading here guys, the collective reading, which again I'm going to do the same one on my other live. So here it is. Let me tell you what I got for you guys. Wrote it down, wrote it down. I got a couple of things. Uh, the first thing I did get here guys, which was over here, was a uh, crab. So some of you could be um, either dealing with a Scorpio, I'm sorry, Scorpio, <laughs> Cancer, uh, or have it in your chart. We are about to be in, in Cancer season as well. Um, also, I'm getting a sense of things coming back. You know how like the crabs walk kind of funny, like side to side and kind of back works? So there could be a sense of things coming back, you know? Um, I also got with that you are being guided to have patience and persistence on something. Um, I kind of feel like a sense of waiting, like some of you have been waiting on a person or a situation, like it's been taking quite a while, okay? But you're being guided to just keep being persistent and keep being patient. And like out of nowhere, something's going to come through that maybe you weren't expecting, okay? So that is for your present to, I guess, near future, all right? Now let's move forward to, oh, I also got here, guys. Let me see if you can see it right here. But they're side to side. Those are triangles. Uh, triangles are a very good sign, guys. They're very, very good. Um, however, they are kind of like this. They weren't up or down. So that being said, let me tell you what this means. With the triangles being side to side, um, it is a positive sign, guys. It really is. However, since they are this way, I kind of feel like, again, maybe you're waiting on something but something is going to come through. There are going to be some opportunities, but you weren't expecting these. Like maybe you were expecting something else and it never came through, but then out of nowhere, a completely different opportunity came your way. And you're like, what? Okay, so that is good regardless, guys. So run with that. I really do like that for you. And that, again, that's going to be for your uh, current to uh, very near future, guys. All right. Uh, I love it. And again, I've told you this, guys, when, the other day, I think, or I've been telling people, June is going to be a huge month for everyone, okay? If opportunities come your way, you would be smart to take them, my dear, okay? Um, what else did I get here for you guys? Okay, so over here, if you can see, I got a face, and this would be for your uh, near future, all right? There's a face here. Now, that being said, I do feel like you will be meeting somebody new, new acquaintances or a new person, period. Um, especially through work, okay? For those of you who are working, you are going to be meeting new people, okay? Now, there's something to do with this person's eyes that um, is really like, I'm being really drawn to that, so this person could have something to do with their eyes. Maybe they have really big, pretty eyes, or maybe their eyes are like a different color, or something to do with their, I hear trusting eyes. <laughs> now I'm hearing hungry eyes. That's funny on a personal level. But anyways, what's it called? Something to do with this person's eyes. Um, but yes, you will be meeting new people here. Uh, new friendships, acquaintances, again, something I keep emphasizing, like I hear eyes, eyes, eyes. So keep an eye Okay, no pun intended on that. Um, so yeah, but again, I do feel new people coming in, uh, especially through work for those who are working. I also got here a rider. Um, you see how like there's a horse here and then he's like back riding, like the horse is on his hind legs. I don't know if y'all can see that. Here's the horse's head, there's a little body and here's the, uh, the rider. Okay, so this is really good guys. 
this usually indicates messages coming through. So you could be getting messages here, guys. And um, it could be from this new person that you interact with, okay? Um, they're going to be important messages. This can also indicate some sort of traveling, which we've been getting a lot this year. Guys, some of you will definitely be traveling. That's just a whatever. That's just the facts of it because I've been getting it so much this year. Um, I feel like this person's going to come in with some news. There will be some messages or news coming through here for you guys. However, honestly... It is important news, but I feel like it's good news. So, I mean, hey, I really dig that. Um, now, for your far, far future, over here on the bottom, I did get a hand, guys, which is good because I have got this already for you guys. A lot of you, I do feel like maybe the home front isn't going that well. Maybe some of you are not in the best terms with family, whether it be your children or just, you know, your mother, your father, whatever it is, brother, sister. Um, I do feel that there's going to be some sort of reunion, okay, for those of you who are maybe even at a distance from your family because of everything that's happened this past year. Uh, maybe that's why you're going to travel as well. But I do see some sort of, I'm even hearing family reunion. But I do feel like some of you are going to connect back with family that maybe you are at odds with or you're not getting along with. I'm hearing daughter. Uh... I'm actually a daughter son, so especially if you have children that you're not getting along with, I feel like there will be a reconnection or at least somebody reaching out. My ear is going dead, so to me that's kind of confirmation. I feel like some of you have not been talking to your children um, or at least somebody in your family. Um, it's emphasizing on children, just saying. Uh, but anyways, uh, I do feel like there will be some sort of reunion, but this is your far, far future, guys. Um, and I do feel like it'll be mending of ties mending of home and stuff like that so this it's good it's, it's good i like it so i'm gonna put that down hey nina hey kim hey ms joy hey susan hey miss uh let me see shaki t i hope i'm saying it right okay guys so that was going to be for your tea leaf reading let me tell you what I got for your longer. I usually give you guys a very short shell reading um, because it takes a bunch of time. So I just went ahead and did it ahead of time. And after we do the shell reading, I'm going to give you guys a bone reading. So what I did get for your much longer shell reading, which was quite interesting because, again, I've been getting a lot of the same stuff. Oh, shoot. So my shells fell. So let's start off. Um, when it comes to the love department or the home front... Um, I do feel to watch out for some sort of betrayals. Either you feel like you're being betrayed or vice versa. Somebody here feels like you betrayed them. Um, I also kind of feel like there is maybe friends or family. Okay, the bottom line, I feel like somebody here did something they weren't supposed to. And now they're kind of like in regret about it. Uh, because now somebody thinks ill of them. Basically, that's what I'm getting here. Whether it be friendship, you know, a, a spouse, somebody in the family. Okay, um... I feel like somebody here is not looking at you the same or you're not looking at that person the same anymore with those same eyes. Like you kind of lost respect for this person or vice versa. They lost respect for you. Okay. Which has caused tension. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like there is definitely tension here uh, and it's hindering relationships. I do feel. Okay. So somebody here really needs to apologize or at least acknowledge what they did wrong if you want to mend these ties, okay? Because it might be a little too late. I kind of feel like once somebody, for a lot of you, once somebody kind of like has showed them true selves, you're just like kind of, I feel like someone's disgusted with somebody else's actions. Uh, and I'm getting mostly something to do with a lie, which I did get before. Somebody lied about something, and now you're like, really? Okay. Um... I feel like somebody needs to come clean with some kind of news or something they did that they weren't supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now let's move forward to your work, money, finances, whatever. Uh, good opportunities, which I did tell you earlier um, with the T. And I told you just because of everything going on. Um, good opportunities coming. It's going to be stuff uh, very profitable when it comes to business. Even if you don't quite see it yet. Even if you don't have support on it. People are not believing your ideas. Um, if it's a personal project, I still say go with it. Okay, guys? Seriously, because I do see something good coming out of here. There will be opportunities, which again, we did also get on the tea leaf reading messages. And I said it was good messages coming through. So I do like, uh, do like that. 
Now, when it comes to health, guys, um, this could be vice versa energy, so take it how it resonates. Um, I do feel like underlying health issues, either you or someone that you're dealing with, okay, maybe you feel like you're okay, but I feel like somebody really does need to get checked, okay? Um, there could be some kind of risk of infection as well, okay? Um, what else did I put? Yeah, like I kind of feel like somebody thinks, no, I'm, I'm good, I'm better. You really need to get checked because I do feel a risk of infection or, like I said, something underlying health issues that you're not quite aware of, okay? Now, let's talk about obstacles, which we did say earlier. Uh, someone's bad behavior is going to cause current troubles, and that's just the truth. Um, or a loss of esteem. People are going to think ill of you or vice versa, leaving somebody f feeling with regrets, like, oh, man, I shouldn't have done that. Now... I'm not going to get this job or this opportunity. This person doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Stuff like that here. Um, someone here definitely made a bad decision. And I keep getting back to lies. Somebody lied about something or someone. And now, like, people are going to see the truth of it. And it's, they're going to have egg in their face, basically. Okay? So if this is you who did that, no judgment here, um, I would reach out, Olive Branch, before it's a little too late. Okay? Um... Now, for luck, some of you might be distancing yourselves from home or changing activities, okay? I kind of feel like someone here wants to keep themselves, like they want their space, and they're not getting the space they want, okay? So they're kind of a sense of isolation, but in a sense, I feel like that's good for them or you because somebody here needs that alone time right now. Um... I kind of also feel like somebody here is like self-punishing themselves like they're like maybe they're not happy with something they did so they're kind of punishing themselves if that makes sense um, I'm also saying okay I have to say this somebody here with legal problems um, they're about to find out so if you are doing something that is illegal or you shouldn't be doing I would really think about that, okay, guys? I would hate for anybody to get in trouble. And again, this can be vice versa energies that you or someone you're dealing with. Uh, days of luck for you guys would be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, all right? So now let's do uh, a bone reading. Hi. Okay, I do like this very much. Well, at least what I'm seeing for now. What I tell you guys about work or finances, personal, like, you know, things you're doing, I do see luck is definitely on your side, some kind of wish fulfillment when it comes to that. If you're wondering about something, the answer is a yes. When it comes to love, I do see that there was an obstacle here, but I feel like you guys are going to try to work through it. Or again, I think somebody here is going to want to come in with some kind of clarity, which we did get earlier. What did I tell you guys about the health? Somebody's health, seriously, y'all need to keep an eyeball. And this is either your end or someone you're dealing with. Let's see. And I really didn't get much for obstacles. Well, I mean, the health thing is kind of in between the obstacles. So, yes, the main thing, guys, is the health, which I did get on the other reading. So, please keep an eyeball. And remember, guys, there's so much more to all these readings. I just give you guys, like, the bare minimum only because we're doing a live. Uh, but, again, take what resonates with you guys, okay? Because it is a collective reading. It's not a personal reading. But, overall, I mean... It looks good, except somebody needs to keep an eyeball on their health, okay? Hi, Robin! Okay, so I'm going to move this, guys, because it's going to take me a hot minute. All right.
let's get some of these cards and then maybe we'll clarify them. Okay, that was a bunch. All right. So I definitely feel like there's somebody here you are at a distance with, either geographically or emotionally. There could also be a mature man or a mature woman here. And if you're wondering if this person is a soulmate, yes, you do have a soul tie with this person. But just because they're a soulmate does not necessarily mean that this is a person you're meant to be with, guys. Okay? So I do want to kind of clarify this really quick. I'm feeling heavy Capricorn energy on a side note. Yes, definitely. Somebody here needs to get their ears checked or is having a hard time hearing. Especially if this is a mature male. So I kind of feel like there's little to no communication with somebody right now that maybe you are at a distance from. Again, either emotionally or geographically. There could be a brunette of significance. I'm also feeling a sense of longing or missing somebody. Okay. Somebody here does not want to work on this connection anymore or has pulled their energy completely away. Somebody here is starting off a whole new journey, going on their own, and has literally cut this connection out of their life. They drew the line in the sand and they're off to a new beginning here. Especially if this is in uh, a gentleman. But remember, there's no gender in tarot. Everyone has divine masculine, divine feminine, but this does seem like a masculine energy, so put yourself in that position. Okay. Um, I kind of feel like this person was confused whether to come towards you or not, or just to completely cut it out, and then they leaned more to one decision. And yes, again, I do feel like this person was at a distance from you or is at a distance from you. You could have met this person online or connecting with them online. Um, someone here is still holding on to this connection, either emotionally, well, I feel emotionally, and they feel like it was a bad investment. The other person feels like it was a bad investment. Yeah, because look, there was an ending here with the world in reverse. Somebody here was a bit immature. Um, there could be an age difference, or it was just immature, would just come in for the passion, basically. But you're still keeping an eyeball on them, or they're still keeping an eyeball on you, because we do have the page of swords here. Okay, so again, there could be an age difference or somebody being a bit immature, but yeah, definitely somebody watching you. There could have been a mistress or mister here as well, because um, this is a high priestess in reverse, can also signify a mistress or mister. Uh, she's all-knowing, go with your intuition. Some of you might have intuitively felt like this person was talking to somebody else, or you were the other person. Uh, that would be a yes for me here on this one, okay, guys? There could have been a truth that came out, which is also why this is on the mature woman, Okay. Yep, somebody found something out and should hit the fan with a tower card about this other person. Okay. Yeah, somebody did their homework and found out that there was somebody here from the past. Yep, which caused a separation. And now you feel very guarded from this person or vice versa. Yeah. What I tell you earlier about the Earth sign, a Capricorn, there could be a Capricorn. Well, actually, this, to be fair, this is Taurus card, but it's still an Earth sign. Uh, this person could have been a bit domineering, could have just played with your heart. Really no stability here. They were a liar, manipulator. You might feel like this person was a traitor because, again, um, with a hangman can also signify a traitor or you felt like this connection wasn't going anywhere. You felt really betrayed and stabbed in the back by this person or vice versa, but I feel like you're definitely healing. There was an ending. Heavy... Um, disappointment here guys but you know this is my disappointment card but in the same token it's my hope card because not all is lost there's still those two cups in the background guys okay but somebody just definitely put those burdens down and move forward all right so that's for that let's see what else we have guys those were quick messages let's move forward let's do some moonology Your 19 year old has broken tibia and blood clots in his lower leg. Oh my goodness! Ooh. 
we have believe in the impossible blue moon um it was in reverse guys though so i do feel like again a sense of somebody wanting to give up but what did i tell you guys earlier do not give up just as you think that it's over it's game over it's not you're gonna get some sort of surprise here your way okay but i do feel again it's a good surprise guys we do have your commitment is being tested you see don't give up hope what else was here your hard work is paying off, new moon and Capricorn. You see, I told you guys um, I felt Capricorn energy. Yeah, your hard work is about to pay off, guys. So don't think you're doing this for nothing. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. That was a bunch. I'm going to take all those. How are you guys doing? I know I usually come on a later time, so I'm not expecting a lot of people here right now, but I missed you guys. So I wanted to come through for you all. There we go. Speaking of Taurus, which we did talk about earlier, prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus, guys. Okay. Again, do not give up. Something good's coming in. It's going to make you very happy because it's green, heart chakra. Oh, we have communication is key and it's in reverse. Okay, what did I tell you about somebody here not talking to you or vice versa? Um, new moon in Gemini. So they could be a Gemini of significance as well. We are in gem season. I'm also getting somebody here is definitely a bit emotional. I'm hearing that song, you're hot and then you're cold, yes and then no kind of thing, so let's see. Adjustments are required, okay. One more, I'll give you the last one here, and then we'll see what we have. Boom. Nothing's yet set in stone. You see, like, don't give up, okay? You feel like it's, like, not going to happen. It's not set in stone yet, all right? Let's move forward. So let's do some past live cards, guys, because I think they were fun. Last Actually, you know what? Let's do some shells, some other shells, and then we'll mess around with that. What did I tell you about Capricorn? There's definitely a Capricorn of significance that you have in your chart or something you're dealing with does or work could definitely be of significance right now for you. Somebody here is laser focused on work or career. If you're wondering about something, the answer is a yes. January could be a month of significance. You could be, I hear, go for your dreams. Also pay attention to your dreams. You could definitely be getting downloads through your dreams. Somebody here might be viewing you as a player or you're viewing them as a player, which we kind of did get on the other cards, remember? Hi, Anna. One of my favorite Saggies. I love the Saggies. There's uh, definitely a Taurus of significance, which we did get earlier, and I keep getting Taurus a lot. So somebody could be wanting to nest or career again. Work and career could definitely be of significance right now. Maybe you're really laser focused on it, okay? Which I did say this year was going to be the year of nesting, okay? People wanting to finally get together and actually commit, get a family together. Even those who were kind of like turned off by being in a commitment or, you know, would never want to settle down. They're like rethinking that, reevaluating that, okay? I think last year was definitely a lesson for all of us as a whole. Not to take people or things for granted. And some people just couldn't be alone. And they realized that, you know, they worked on themselves. Uh, luck is definitely on your side, guys, which I did tell you. Not only on the, what was it? It was the tea leaf reading, okay, and also on the bone reading. Spirit's going to need to have courage to move forward, which we did get earlier as well. There could be a Libra of significance. If not, that's fine. October could be a month of significance. Um, I'm hearing justice fair. So if something was unbalanced, unfair, unjust, 
um, I feel like it'll definitely be balancing back out. Uh, yeah, because I feel like some, something was very toxic here. You could have been dealing with somebody who you viewed as toxic. I feel like this person's kind of sorry now, but it's a little too late. This person could have left you with a broken heart. Somebody here has a broken heart over a situation or a connection with somebody. But I feel like it was very, very toxic. I hear, I am sorry I ever let you come back. So this was not your first rodeo with this person. Again, some of you may not be happy with work right now, but I do feel like that's about to change, guys. I kind of feel like somebody had to be let go of a job or work or moved from another job, something like that, okay? You let me know. What did I tell you earlier? There will be traveling, and I've been getting that for all these months already. There's definitely going to be some sort of traveling. It doesn't have to be far, guys, uh, but uh, movement, for sure. Some of you actually are going to move or did move. Um, also, please take uh, pay attention to your vehicles. If you are going to go traveling, you know, make sure your vehicle is okay. Uh, there could even be like something to do with your. Um, say you're going to go on a plane ride. It could like you know there could be some like problems maybe um, with your ticket and stuff like that or whatever. Please pay attention to your signs because you will be getting some signs, guys. Some of you already got the signs, and I think you know what I'm talking about. There could definitely be a Gemini of significance. We are in gem season. If there's something to do with a Gemini you're wondering, the answer would be not now. Okay. i am be honest with you guys. There's a Gemini married male. Maybe you're not aware that he is married. Uh, but he is, uh, if you are connecting with him, know that he is married. Okay. So ladies, you let me know in the comments. Okay, maybe he's not happy in his marriage, but rest assured he is still married or common law with this other person. So just an aside note, guys, only you know your story. You let me know in the comments. Yes, I spilled the tea. I'm sorry, Gems. I had to. I had to. Um, I, I um, There could be a Pisces of significance as well. Or also go with your intuition to me because I feel like some of you may think like this person's talking to somebody or there is somebody. Uh, yes, you're being guided. Go with your intuition. Heavy emphasizes on work again. I keep getting... Tell me what's going on with your work, guys. I want to know in the comments because I keep getting work, 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 and I've been getting work for quite a while, but I, especially right now, I'm getting something to do with work. There's like a transition with work here going on. You're waiting on a job or something like that. But you let me know what's going on with work. Oh, yes, there will be a surprise your way. But again, I do feel like it's a good one, which we did get earlier as well. Guys, please be very careful with your car. I feel like I have to tell you, park it somewhere high, if that makes sense. Park it somewhere high. Because it could be a flood or something, and your car is going to get messed up. I'm just telling you right now. So, just saying. Right. Let's get some of these. Oh, thank you, Anna. I love your face too. Your husband's waiting on pins and needles to see if he's getting a new shift at work after being on night for ten years. Oh wow. You will be switching shifts Monday. I feel like I'm being Smacked by the guys that work there. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Moon and Aries. So some of you could be Aries. Remain sensitive to others to avoid confrontations. Okay, guys. So there could be a bit of hostility surrounding you whether personal home or work here which we did get <laughs> guys I'm getting I know it sounds gross but I'm getting poop 
and a cow poop which is good luck so i do feel like there will be good luck coming your way i know it's gross but uh that's what i'm getting or some of you could be dealing with cattle or have a farm ranch something to do with cattle okay but definitely like or horse horses but poop so i do feel like money or something good coming in here for you okay which again i did get i know i'm sorry i'm being gross but that's what i see i can't help it get mad at the spirit no <laughs> hello rosario como estas ah again more taurus energy let's see sorry guys i do not have my glasses and i'm a blind old lady let me see uh, now is the time for focusing on finances in particular uh, particular matters you see i told you finances is going to be a big one finances and career guys you want to know a funny story yesterday i um i broke off my nails trying to open a coke <laughs> i was like oh Yes. Oh, we have a cat. Let's see. Again, no glasses. Make time to focus on your own spiritual well-being and to connect the physical world around you. So some of you could definitely be ascending, dabbling more into spirituality, even dabbling in tarot, maybe watching like tarot videos and whatnot. Some of you could be readers yourselves, okay? Let's see. Whoa, those really wanted to come out. Fine, I'll take it. We have Dark Moon. Spend time in contemplation and meditation in order to seek greater understandings of yourself and those around you. So again, some of you, what I said, uh, having a spiritual awakening here. You get to meditate. Hey, Ms. Layla. Moon in Sagittarius, your last one of these. Let's see. Be prepared to be adaptable as plans you have laid may take unpredictable changes, courses, which I told you guys earlier. Let's do a really quick group activity and mess around with the pendulum and then we'll do something else. So I want you all to think of a yes or no question. Really meditate over it. And don't be don't don't make it ridiculous like if you're gonna win the lottery right now or something <laughs> oh my gosh all right just kidding you ready wow that's a very strong yes so i hope that's good news for some of you guys and it's still going uh it's a very strong yes and it's kind of, it was kind of twirling around to me. So it's kind of like, to me, it's like, again, unexpected. Like, maybe you weren't thinking it was going to happen, then boom, it does. I hope it's good news for you guys, because not always yeses are good. So, but you let me know in the comments. Move forward on that. Let's do some past live readings, because I think the people digged them last time, so... Let's see what we have. All right. Where's my cards? Oh, here they are. Sorry, guys. I'm such a dork. Um, okay, so this one fell on Destiny, so I'm going to take it. So... I think some of you are definitely going to learn lessons or you're gonna you've already learned these lessons it's your destiny to keep on learning lessons <sighs> some of you i feel like you were of authority figures in the past i kind of feel like some of you took advantage of that to be honest And now you're here to learn spiritual lessons. Lessons. 
I'm also, I'm getting a clock or watch of significance, so you let me know. I'm hearing grandpa's clock, or, or it's my grandpa's watch, or something like that. You tell me. Ooh. Okay. Galactic, and it fell on destiny. Okay, guys, so some of you definitely study the, st the stars, or you're really into astrology, astronomy, um... Something to do with the stars, your name could be star, or whatever, but some of you are definitely very, very much into astrology. Some of you are going to actually start doing your own research and all that stuff, like I said earlier, and going to really dabble and become very much into it. Uh, have a spiritual awakening of some kind here, guys. For sure. The color blue is of significance here as well. Hi, Jenny. Let's see. Oof. Okay, what did I tell you guys earlier that I feel like some of you could have been like authority figures or people of um, in power and I said that I didn't think that you did the best decisions or were very fair. You might be seeking forgiveness or somebody here might be wanting to seek forgiveness here. And this could be the lessons that you're trying to learn here now. Or maybe you're not having... Some of you, I feel like you've gone through a lot in this lifetime. It's because these were lessons that you had to learn. Okay? Because in the past, some of you um, might have taken advantage of your power. Okay? I'm going to be honest. That's what I see. I know nobody wants to hear anything bad about themselves. But that's what I see and that's what I feel. karma oh right away some of you definitely battle with um food you don't have a very healthy relationship with food i'm going to be honest with you some of you definitely overeat and i feel not only because you know we overindulge but i kind of feel like some of you definitely food and hunger was a big issue in a past life and now I kind of feel like some of you feel like you're wasting food. So even if you're not hungry, you just feel like you're wasting it. So you just eat it. Some of you might even hoard food. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting like some of you are scared to go hungry. Like you're scared that you're never. And it's like. I understand that, but you're going about it the wrong way, if that makes sense. Um, and I think it's definitely because of past life things where you, you know, you, you maybe you didn't have enough. And, oops. Sorry, guys. Or maybe you didn't have enough. Um, and now you're kind of, like, scared about that. Some of you definitely were uh, knights or around that era. Some of you passed away being a knight or very drawn to knights. Knighthood. I have felt that a while and that because of something in the past, I'm in a wheelchair due to my... Oh, I'm sorry, Rosario. Speaking of which, look, health and it's in reverse. So, guys, health was definitely an issue here for some of you in the past. Some of you could have even been in, I hear, nurses. I'll be honest with you guys. I feel like somebody definitely was in power and took advantage of that and didn't do the best things. That's the truth, guys. I know nobody wants to hear something bad, but that's what I'm feeling and hearing. And it's no coincidence that it's on top of karma. Farming was also of significance, which we did get earlier when I said cattle and horses. Wow, that was a lot. What did we get? Let's 
some of you the mother figure in your life is now your guardian angel And to me, I don't necessarily feel like it was a woman. It could have been, of course, a mother, but it's like the caregiver. She didn't actually have to be a mother. Because I do feel, again, that some of them were like, some of you were orphaned in a past life. You weren't with your real parents. Some of you weren't with any parents at all. Yeah. Some of you have a hard time with your love life. And I feel like no matter how hard you try, and I don't even feel like you're doing something wrong. It's like it's always the wrong person, but you're always getting lessons, but it's just a different person, a different person, a different person. Different faces, but same person. That was a lot. Yeah. Which, we've been getting this for the past few lives, guys. Somebody left and just was never seen again. Possibly a father figure. Very drawn to Native Americans here. As well, some of you could be Native Americans or have it in your blood here. Some of you, spirituality, being monk, nun, was definitely of significance here as well. Look, spiritual and religion. So that's for that, guys. Let's see if we have anything else coming in. That's how you feel with your life? Let's get some tarot. See if we have anything else coming in for you guys. So I kind of feel like somebody here has been very stressed or worried about a situation. That could be something to do with your sleep, your sleeping pattern. You may not be sleeping well right now. I kind of feel like somebody here is extremely stressed. And I know I haven't been able to sleep that good because there's a ghost in my room. But that's a different story. Some of you are stressing out about, stressing over about this fuck boy or fuck girl and that's just the truth some of you are dealing with somebody here with inconsistent energy who comes in for just the passion okay uh you can't really rely on this person and you're so done you're so ready to put the burdens down with this person yeah it's like it's over someone here is very disappointed in this we're getting the same cards as earlier look you're trying to heal and move forward. The same cards. Things in stagnation. The same. Oh my god. Literally the same cards. And I shuffled. Yeah, this person was a liar. Look. I'm going to shuffle some more. They're going to want to come back. Because they're at a distance from you here. But remember. Inconsistence. They always come in with like a offer. But it, it always has a catch. And this person is very immature. And you can't trust them with your heart. So you cut them out. Or they cut you out. Again, same things. I'm getting the same cards, guys. No joke. Look, not working on it anymore. Looks, no communication. It's over. Bad investment. There could be an Aries of significance. To me, yes, this is Aries. But to me, I also feel like it could be a Capricorn on a personal level. Uh, yeah, somebody here was very domineering here. My way or the highway. Again, feel like it was a lack of investment, a bad investment here. Someone's here is trying to gather the strength to move forward from this person. This person's not the very nicest person here. Okay, the Queen of Wands uh, in reverse. Um, yeah, it was a wish unfulfilled here. Ooh, heavy Aquarius energy. Someone here is upset. You cut this person out or they cut you out. Yeah. What's going happen with that? Let's get some of these other cards. Let me see, where are they? And then I'm going to have to skedaddle because I have another life somewhere else, guys. So. 
that's it. We have Stop Obsessing. You are not the effing center of the universe. Oh, yes, we are. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I kind of feel like somebody's obsessing over you, to be honest. I feel like somebody here is kind of like watching you, watching your move. Now I'm hearing the police song every step you take, but I feel like it's not in a good way. I feel like they're just being very nosy and wanting to keep an eyeball on you. Step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spatula taste like poop. Um, eat some yummy shit. Bacon, chocolate, and beer. Get some. Okay. We just said we should eat healthy. But okay, cards. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like your brother's. You are being shady. Someone's being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. Hi, Miss Judy. That one fell. Stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. Okay. So I told you earlier, I feel like there was a conversation that needs to be had. Somebody here is not communicating. You're being shady. Oh. Watch out, she can get ugly. We already said that one. Oh, this is the one. Fuck, shit is about to get real. F, you need your people around you. What did I tell you earlier with the shell readings? Uh, watch out for betrayals by false friends, family, or lovers. And behaviors that can compromise important relationships. And it's important to recognize these errors to recover these relationships if this is what you want, guys. You are giving away your power. You are a badass, act like it. Yep, don't let anybody take away your power. Believe what you see. Face reality or live in effing la la land. Choose bravely. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get you one more card and then I'm gonna skedaddle. You tight ass. <laughs> Losing the F up. Control freaks don't get laid. Ah, wonk wonk. Oh, these fell out too. Let me see. Whining. You got good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. Last one. Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive. Let that shit go. Alright guys, so this is my life for you all. I'll see you next time. Lots of love and kisses. Bye.